Hi, this is Bill Myers, and I want to invite you to Bill's Blogs. Uh, this one's titled Ride Like the Wind. It's about a piece that I got to score with an ID-piece orchestra. Um, this started out in uh, 2004 when I received a phone call from Peter Rotter, who was working at that time uh, with the uh, musical uh, contractor Sandy DeCrescent. She had most of the large sessions, you know, put, put together large orchestras for film. And he told me that they'd like to hire me to uh, write a string arrangement for a song featured in the upcoming movie Team America World Police, which is a pretty funny movie. If you guys uh, get a chance, you should check it out. The composers were Mark Shaman and Harry Gregson Williams, and they're two of my favorites. So I, w I was thrilled and intrigued to see what it was. Um, when I spoke to Peter, he told me um, the song in the movie it was titled I'm So Ronery, R-O-N-E-R-Y. I said, well, who's singing that? And he said, well, actually, uh, it's somebody that's supposed to sound like the, the uh, uh, North Korean dictator at the time. And he said, uh, the first arrangement, you know, orchestral arrangement that played the scene ended up being too comedic. He said it was almost like uh, having whoopee cushions or honks honks everywhere. Um, and could I try a different approach? And I said, sure. So I, I took a look at the song and um, I decided kind of to arrange the strings very sweetly and very straight, uh, allow the lyrics to be the source of the comedy. And, and uh, fortunately, I think it played well. Um, we're going we're gonna to give you a, a copy of it. And they, they, they called me back and let me know that they loved it. And so it got used. A couple months later, I got a call from Peter. And he said that once a year, Sandy um, <clears throat> rented out uh, a studio with her A-team orchestra, 80-plus musicians, for, for the day to accommodate uh, uh, young composers, people that um, um, they've chosen. You know, they picked a few every year, three or four, to uh, each get an hour's worth of studio time with, with an orchestra. Uh, and they were willing to give this hour of a time uh, uh, people that they thought could possibly break through as, as, as you know, uh, fledgling composers and each uh, composer had to share the cost of the studio time and personnel um, you know with Sandy's company that that wasn't cheap but I, I really jumped at this opportunity and I was fortunately coming off of um, uh, the end of uh, working on a, uh, a Broadway play and that was called Hot Feet I was doing it Maurice White. This 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 play was a rendering of the of the Red Shoes, but it was an urbanization of it. And Maurice Hines was the director, uh, Gregory Hines' brother. So um, fortunately, it, it was uh, really profitable, and uh, I had the money to do this. So I decided I'm in. So I composed two pieces for that event. Passing Memories was uh, one of them. It was a it's a a plaintive sad song. It's a som somber piece that has three short passages dealing with the feelings that a, a person goes through following the loss of a loved one. And um, I uh, actually dedicated it to my father who had, who had passed away just before that. Um, the other piece, it was kind of something that was in my mind's eye. Uh, I called it Ride Like the Wind. And I imagined a scene in a movie where I conceived in my mind's eye about a young rider on a feisty horse in a race and his parents are scared to death that he's going to get thrown and get hurt. Um, so the studio, the orchestra, the engineer were all first rate when I managed to get these, these uh, two songs, uh, two pieces, and they, they gave me great takes on both of them and I, I realized some of the other composers composed their own cues against film footage. And in retrospect, maybe that was something I should have done also. But um, I got a call afterwards from Peter praising me, and I thanked him profusely. But um, after that, I, I never heard anything else. Um, I found out a few years later that I was told by somebody that he felt my age was an issue. I think they were looking for the youngest composers they could get that, that would fit that bill. Um, but a couple of years ago, I put together a, a, a website with my talented and very good friend, Michael McPherson, who devised it for me. Uh, and I thought, I want to treat this with more than just the music. So um, it contains a wide variance of, of my work when I, when I added this site. But um, the cue, Ride Like the Wind, I wanted to have it 
uh, and add visuals like storyboards to to help bring you know what I was trying to do to light. And I met a very talented young animator by the name of George Allmeyer, and he did a wonderful job helping me with this. Um, and I think it came out really good. Uh, it uh, it shows the nine stages in a horse race of a young rider, and uh, there's the the countdown and 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 the actual uh, start of the race, and then it cuts abruptly to. In the second phase, uh, people waiting to have the riders come near them. They haven't come, but they're in a distance, and you see them get closer. Third stage, the the riders are are coming by, and the kid's doing really well in the race. He's excited. He's up near the top. Um, the fourth stage is uh, you want to slow it down to slow motion, and you see the beauty and musculature of these these beautiful animals. The fifth one is the other guys are getting nervous that this kid's doing too well, so they're starting to jostle him, okay? That's followed by um, a very steep climb up a, a, a tough hill, so you get that sense of the horses slipping and sliding going up that hill. Um, the seventh one is as they're coming down, there's a, there's a gorge that they're gonna have to jump, and of course the kid's scared, uh, but he manages to lift his horse up and land past it. And then the, the eighth uh, cue card is, is them racing to the finish line, which the, the kid wins. And the final scene is him getting congratulated and hugged by his parents and their relief that he didn't break his neck in the process of the race. Um, I hope you check it out and I hope you enjoy it.